This is Tellway 31. A convoy of emergency vehicles took an Alabama state trooper there after that trooper was injured in a horrific crash. Athens Police Chief Floyd Johnson told Way 31 multiple vehicles were involved in that wreck on I-65 southbound, about a mile south of Highway 72. You're looking at a live picture right now from the Alabama Department of Transportation camera located near the interchange of I-65 and Highway 72 in Athens. If you look at the upper left-hand corner of your screen, that's the southbound lanes just south of that interchange. Traffic not moving at all, so it appears the traffic is being detoured off of 72 onto an alternate route. We'll have more on that in a moment, and northbound traffic just barely getting by. The accident will be south of that interchange and before you get to the Huntsville Browns Ferry Road interchange. The southbound lanes Looks like they're going to be closed for several hours while the cleanup and the investigation is underway. Northbound traffic, as I mentioned, getting by, but very, very slowly right now. I'm Dan Schaefer, and as you can tell, this is a developing story. We're working to bring you the latest updates. To do that, we have live team coverage this afternoon. We begin with Way 31's Bridget Divers. She's live at Huntsville Hospital now where that state trooper is being cared for. Bridget. Dan, I'm outside Huntsville Hospital right now, and as you can see right behind me, multiple Hemsey ambulances are still here, and we actually also have one from Athens, Limestone County. There's an ambulance right there behind me. We also have a Huntsville police officer that is parked right down the road, but he's not the only police officer that has been here today. Within the last hour, multiple Madison County Sheriff vehicles were here at Huntsville Hospital after a state trooper was brought here following a car accident. Law enforcement sources tell us police blocked several roadways in an effort to speed the ambulance on its way to the hospital. The accident happened over in Limestone County, about a mile south of Highway 72. I've reached out to the state troopers to learn more about the accident and the condition of the trooper that was brought to Huntsville Hospital. I'm going to be here outside Huntsville Hospital working to learn more about what happened. I'll keep you updated on what we learned. Reporting live in Huntsville, Bridget Divers, Way 31 News. All right, our prayers are with that uh, trooper, certainly. Thank you, Bridget. Way 31's Chief Meteorologist Kate McKenna joins us now. She has a detailed look now at where that traffic's backed up, Kate. Right, and we've got a color on here that we don't see very often on our traffic map, and that color is purple. That's indicative of a shutdown, a road closure, and that's exactly what you see here on my traffic map, extending from north of Highway 72. That closure is in effect all the way down I-65. Remember, this is the southbound lanes all the way down to Huntsville. Browns Ferry Road. So simply put here, just we're trying to make you familiar with this closure so that you know if you've got travel plans and you expect to quickly get from Athens down toward Decatur on I-65, it is not going to be a quick trip whatsoever. You're going to get rerouted. That road is blocked from US 31 to Huntsville Browns Ferry Road, and the backup itself is about five miles long. This is an extensive closure here, this section of I-65. I have seen some slowdowns on 31, so it looks to me like they are routing traffic off of I-65 at 72 and then back on to 31, perhaps able to actually get back on the interstate around Huntsville Browns Ferry Road. So we'll continue to follow this for you. Any updates and maybe a more extensive backup, of course, I'll pass that along. All right, thanks, Kate. Our team coverage continues now with Way 31's Alex Torres Perez. She is live near the scene of that crash. Alex, what can you tell us about the circumstances around what happened? Well, right now we know that Athens police have shut down the exit for I-65 South from Athens towards Huntsville. I'm going to step behind the camera to give you guys at home a quick look at the scene. As you can see, the officers are parked here at the exit. I've seen a couple of cars actually turn around from I-65 South driving up north in order to get onto Highway 31 back towards the Huntsville area. So obviously traffic is completely stopped and no one can move. So that's why some several people have actually turned around. Obviously, this is a developing situation. We'll keep you guys updated with any updates both on air and online at waytv.com. Reporting live in Athens, Alex Torres Perez, Way 31 News.